everyone and happy new year welcome to 2012 um especially on let's make up youtube channel um this is of course is the first video from my channel for this year i had a bit of a hiatus there over christmas and then i did my back in there a couple of days ago so um i still really wanted to get something up for you so uh this is going to be like a recap of the best products that i had found and used over 2011 so i'm going to call it kind of like the i don't know best of beauty awards or let's make a beauty awards or something like that of 2011 so, so without spending years on this intro i'm just going to quickly say that it's going to be put into categories so below like, i write down where each section starts so if you get a bit bored throughout the video you can go back come um go away come back again and then just skip ahead to when the new section starts and let it load up from there so it might make life a little bit easier on you so the first category will be the best of skincare or pre-makeup um products so the first one there and i'm just going to be looking down to tell me what to pick up next um is cleansers so my favorite one for that i was using over 2011 was definitely this yes to carrots can you see me eye and face makeup remover so the reason I really like the Yes, um, the Yes, Yes Two, I think is the name of the overall brand, is they're just very, very healthy. As in, like they're paraben free, they're big into their organic and stuff like that, and it's relatively you know quite affordable so it's in boots here in Galway that I got this I'm a big fan of cream cleansers I'm not a fan of water unless I'm in the in the shower or um in the bath and even then I'll just use like dove soap or something so for me my favorite cleanser is definitely going to be um a cream type cleanser or a milk type cleanser for something a little bit I wouldn't say overly higher end because it's still a pharmacy here but a tiny bit more expensive maybe would be the Vichy Purette Thermal and this is the refreshing cleansing milk this one is for normal to combination skin and for sensitive skin so I absolutely adore this one it's not that expensive here in Ireland by any means but this I got two for the price of one or two there was some deal on because I have two of them here and I've nearly finished the first one but I absolutely adore this cleanser and um, it's just really really good and it takes everything off and I love it then for eye makeup remover it has to be hands down this power of the power of plants botanics it's a Boots own brand here in Ireland um, and the UK. I think you can get botanics in maybe Target or World Greens or somewhere like that in America. I'm not sure if you have you said you've seen it. So this is the All Skin Types and it's the Soothing Eye Makeup Remover. Iceland Moss Hydrates and Smooth. It's one of these dual phase ones. So you just shake it up and the um, oil in it will mix with the water. And then of course it takes off all eye makeup and I find it's just so good i mean it takes off literally everything any really stubborn stuff you just soak it on a cotton pad leave it on your eye for a sec and then wipe it off so and so i absolutely adore this the only thing i could say is that i wish i had a wee pump or something like that but this is an amazing product then as far as toner went i was my clinique clarifying lotion i went for number two which was for um dry combination skin it's not dried me up if anything i feel it has made a massive difference to the clarity of my skin and um you know to the mainly around the nose area where i tend to get quite congested so this would be a toner but also a chemical exfoliant. i just use this after washing my face morning and evening i absolutely adore it and i, I don't find that if I overuse it I dry myself out or anything like that and I just have become quite dependent dependent on it so um really really love that product as far as exfoliators go I did have um the Olay Regenerist kit which I spoke about before in um one or two favorites throughout the year I don't have it here anymore because I actually finished it up and I threw it away um just the empty um the empty stuff for recycling but I haven't been able to repurchase it or find it in Boots for some reason here. I have other stuff I suppose that I wanted to use up in the meantime but I will as soon as I find it again use it up again. It was a two step kit where you had the um, chemical, no, yeah there was a little chemical peel in it but first of all there was like a micro dermabrasion thing that you used first which was just these tiny micronized like particles that you use um, all over the face in this really nice uh, kind of lemony or citrusy type of gel it was hard to explain but i would absolutely repurchase no problem i felt it made a ma massive difference to my skin it was about 20 something for the kit and it lasted ages so i didn't find it was too bad 
Then as far as chemical exfoliants go, I would have to say definitely the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. And also then for something a little bit more hardcore would be the Dermalogica Skin Renewal Boost. So this is a little bit more pricey. It was definitely like 56 euro or something like for that. For a 30ml bottle. So it's like, believe it or not, as tiny as that looks, it's the same amount of product as you would get in a regular foundation bottle. But tiny bit goes a long way. I literally would only use it in certain areas. And then... Um, a lot of the time I would mix it in with my foundation, especially, or not my foundation, my moisturiser at night time and I found it just really clears everything up. Um, it says here it has uh, hydroxy acid of lactic acid, salicylic and hibiscus extract. So that's what helps renew the um, skin and improve the texture on your skin. So that's an absolutely amazing project as well. For facial sunblock or facial protectors, I have two here. I have my... Uh, Clinique Super City Block. This comes with an SPF of 25 or an SPF of 40. I have the 40 SPF. This is also tinted so it gives a little bit, I wouldn't say coverage, but it does kind of even you out a tiny wee bit. Totally fragrance free, allergy tested, all that kind of stuff. And it protects you against like outside aggressors, not just the sun and that damage, but also against pollution and stuff like that. So this is one that I really rate highly and it's perfect for under makeup that's one thing that I would definitely look out for for that kind of stuff to make sure that it actually works under makeup because a lot of these things can tend to be quite greasy and then the second one would be another Vichy product and this was the uh, face emulsion dry touch and the reason I love this is because it's for combination to oily skin which I've never come across in a facial sunblock before so this is um SPF of 30 and it's lovely on the skin it just soaks in so perfectly there's no residue none of that white weirdness and i've used this under makeup absolutely perfectly before and i really really love it and i remember it wasn't too expensive because like i said vichy isn't that bad here but um well worth it and i really really like that so now for eye creams i have another clinique a clinique is a brand i kind of just uh revisited again there in 2011 and i've started to love it again it's something i would have used when i was younger but i have the all about eyes clinique eye cream and this is just a really lovely just a rich eye Eye cream it's more of a gel it's not like rich in that it will be too slippy or slidey under makeup or anything like that but it definitely hydrates really well this one it says is for uh, reducing circles and puffs but I just find it just hydrates and that's what you want around the eye area um unless it's something with retinol in it I just want something that really moistens the skin and really feeds the skin so this is something I really really love then of course the other two products would be Vichy I had and I don't have the product the um, package for it anymore but I had the Vichy um, Retina A or Retinol H&A eye cream which was a pump eye cream that I used I did show it in a few favorites back throughout the year and that was one that has retinol in it which is amazing for seeing damage done to your skin through sun damage and um, other aggressor. Um, I love that. I used it at night time. Retinol is okay for daytime as long as it's not too high in concentration and you're maybe, you know, keeping away from the sun like wearing your sunglasses and stuff. But I did tend to just use it for night time. And then I had the Vichy Lift, a Lift, a Lift Active uh, CNP Eyes, which is this guy here. So this one I used um, more for daytime and just for nighttime when I ran out of the other one until I got the Clinique. But again, just a really, really good product. Really, really love this and um, not too greasy or weird or filmy on the, on the eyes by any means. Then as far as moisturizers go, um, it's going to be a shocker. It's another Vichy product. So I just find that they just suit me really, really well. And... Um, I'll make no apologies for that because the price point is perfect, the um, the range is different types for different skin types, different ages, different everything. It, I just find them such a brilliant brand. So the Vichy Laboratories, uh, the Normaderm, absolutely love this. I had been chopping and changing between the different moisturizers there for a long time on combina combination to oily skin as I've said many, many times before. This is the anti-imperfections one. I do break out a good bit uh, along jawline, um, sometimes along my cheeks, depending on you know whether I'm stressed or my diet or whatever. This is just such a lovely, lovely product. It just soaks into the skin, doesn't go on greasy or anything like that. It's not like some of those other kind of gel ones for um, acne prone skin that can feel a bit dry on the skin and almost feel like they're not moisturizing enough. 
and this one I didn't find flaked off as long as I didn't put on too much which in a way is good because it kind of teaches you not to put on too much so this product with the pump of course I absolutely adore and then for my nighttime moisturizer I use the Normaderm for night so this is again the same anti-imperfections care and it is for a regular you know swollen to deformed pores a regular skin texture texture my skin isn't ridiculously bad by any means but i do tend to get quite congested around the nose i can have quite noticeable pores and um the texture can be a bit funny because of breakouts and this is just again a brilliant brilliant product as far as aqua or mist sprays go it is I couldn't really decide between these two so I have my Fix Plus which is as you know uh, like a botanical water spray, a skin refreshener, does not set your makeup as in make it last longer as a lot of people think. It's just um, for putting moisture and like goodness vitamins stuff like that back onto your face. You can use it before makeup, you can use it to refresh your makeup throughout the day, you can use it as a toner. I just love it and it is in a handy spray because it just spritzes really easily and I also use it on my hair as well so I love that. So I have the Avene Thermal Spring Water. It's um you know for sensitive skin. I really really like this. It's quite inexpensive as well. I was using the Vichy one for a while, but the Vichy one has slightly more salt in it, um and is more expensive. So the Avene one I find is just really really good. I use this pretty much the exact same way as I use the Fix Plus, but this um it is a lot less expensive. So I can use it a bit more frequently. I can you know use it on my hair if I need to refresh it or rehydrate it for styling or whatever I absolutely adore it and it's a bit more of a fine mist so it can be nicer on uh, the face if you are feeling a little bit sore or anything like that or you know after um, epilating or anything like that it's nice to just kind of soothe the skin so as far as an illuminating base so this would be more like an illuminating um, moisturizer or illuminating primers and stuff like that I have a couple of them or a few of them really. I really fell in love with the Max Strobe Cream this year. I had been using it in my kit and not so much on myself because I always felt that it would be too emollient or too rich on my on my skin. Um, turns out it was actually quite nice. I mightn't use it for long term underneath the foundation but definitely when I'm going without foundation it's quite lovely. It has antioxidants and stuff like that in it um, ingredient wise so this is something I would highly recommend and it has a lovely like soft pink pearlescent glow to it. Beautiful on older skin or um, you know drier skin anything like that. A similar product I have would be the Soap and Glory Beautifully Luminous Skin. This is a moisturizing one that contains natural oils, aloe vera, stuff like that. So this is something else I use again. I love it on older skin. Re used it on practically every mother of the bride this year. Um, again, I'll use it on myself. Because I am slightly more combination oily, I won't use it under makeup, but I will use it on myself when I'm not really wearing makeup throughout the day. Really, really love this. It gives a lovely brightening. Um, again, it has a little bit of a pink pinkness. Um, to the skin when it's on but it's not like in any way colourful or anything like that but I really really adore that. I also really like the Pixie Illuminating Tint. I have shown this in many videos I think throughout the last few months because I fell in love with it. It's a beautiful glow, like golden glow to it and it is also um, like a treatment and um, sunblock as well. It has an SPF of 20 in it so I really really love this. I find I can use this under makeup um, even for my skin type. It just works beautifully as a base and give her a lovely um, kind of lift to the skin and then finally this is one that I go back to again and again. I've had it for a few years. It's the Barber Daily for Tesco facelift and I love this because it has a lower SPF in it it's a bit better for maybe photography but again it has a beautiful golden tint to it so I do tend to prefer um, for myself more the golden ones and then maybe for like older ladies um, I like maybe more the pink to give a bit more warmth to the face but those would be my picks for the illumination bases anyhow as far as primers go I have to say the L'Oreal Studio Secrets especially compared to higher end brands just is such a great buy. This would be the um, the regular one like the smoothing resurfacing primer. It's like a um, like a mousse almost and then it just totally fills in anything that needs to be filled in like pores or anything like that. It really does give a beautifully soft uh, base for the face um, for anything going on top of it. So this, also I love the mattifying primer in the same range. This is more of a silicone heavy, heavy one. Um, it just you know 
it looks very like the MAC one, which I also really love, the matte cream. So what these do is they form like a film of silicone basically over your face, stopping any of the oil coming through, messing up with your makeup. So it's perfect for anyone who has slightly oily areas, pop it on those areas and then your makeup will last so much longer throughout the day without having that oil mixed in with them. Um, I have to say I also really love the MAC regular skin primer. This is, it's just a really nice basic primer. It just gives a lovely feel to the skin. It does make the skin last longer. It's nothing like really thick or something that's gonna really fill any in, in any like holes or um, like massive pores or anything in your face, but it gives a nice brightening, uh, a really subtle brightening. Like it has a teeny bit of glisten to it without being in any way obnoxious. It just looks like a white product like that, but it's so, so soft and it just blends in really well. It like really sinks into the skin, so I really love that. And then also the Prep and Prime Vibrancy Eye, which is a newer product that MAC Rocket brought out this year. This is perfect for priming around the eye area, but it also doubles up as like an eye cream and it again has ingredients that are really good for the skin. So I use this on practically all clients as well this year and on myself, I really started using it a lot of myself, so I really love that. And then finally, um, to finish off the pre-base or the pre-makeup section of the best of 11 would be the lip conditioner. So my first one, which would be kind of like my, um, my more luxurious one, even though it's not that expensive, would be my um, Rose & Co Cherry Kiss Lip Balm. So this one it just has the most beautiful scent. It's just a it's really strong, um, like sugary cherry smell. I absolutely adore it. I've gone through about four or five of these um, since I first ever came across them. Not that uh, expensive, you get them in boots. Um, when they first came to Galway, it was a bit more exclusive and now you can pretty much get them in all the pharmacies. So I definitely highly recommend that. They also do them in like strawberry and a few different flavors. So I really, really recommend that. And it doesn't dry out your lips and like you don't, I feel like you don't become dependent on it the way you would with Vaseline. So in for sunblock, I like the MAC Lip Conditioner Posh with SPF 15. I use this pretty much on most of my clients and for daily use for myself when I know I'm going to be outside a wee bit so um, I just find that it gives you that little bit extra bit of protection for your lips because believe it or not they do get burnt much easier by the sun than the rest of your face does because you've no glands there to keep them um, moist and you, there's no, nothing there to protect them and the skin is very very um, very very thin and then finally is the Neutrogenia, Neutrogenia, Neutrogenia <laughs> Immediate Repair Lip Balm. This is one I put on clients at the start of a makeover or um, when I'm doing their makeup and then let it, it goes on like a butter. It's really really um, intense and just really like, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's really rich and just really thick and really moisturizing. And if you really feel like it just really softens up the lip and kind of scrub any dry skin while it's on as well and you feel like it's kind of protecting your lips while you're scrubbing away any dry skin. So that was the first section of the awards. Now I'm going to go on to the second section which is makeup, uh, face makeup. So I'm going to start off with like corrective bases. So this would be in case you had like rosacea or something like that. Um, big areas of discoloured skin that you needed to deal with. My first kind of high end um, or high street, sorry, I'll start off with would be the L'Oreal Studio Secrets again. They have, um, they had a few different primers, kind of very similar to the Makeup Forever ones, but a lot less expensive. So I have the Anti Redness Primer, which is the one I would have used in my kit so far, which is really good for anyone who has a lot of high colouring, rosacea, stuff like that. And it's just, it's not too thick, it doesn't leave that like weird ghostly like green hue that the number 7 one did you used to use years ago if anyone remembers using that one. But this is just a really good one. And then MAC of course came out with the Prep and Prime Skin Enhancers this year which I found are actually quite nice. Now the only thing I would say is if you're very dry I wouldn't use it because it, they have a drier texture but they have an SPF 35 in it which is really good for um, obviously sunblock. 
and they do come in for handy colours. Um, this is the Illuminate one, which is like a pinky colour, so it's really good for brightening more like pale to medium skins, or if you're quite sallow, it'll help take away that sallow, kind of yellowy, dull look um, some skin can get. So these ones are really good. Um, the yellow one would be one that I would use a lot of clients as well, because um, I kind of just recently started because it just was really good for again any kind of redness in the skin. As far as foundations go, um, I only recently did like my best drugstore foundation so I won't spend too long on these. I have harped on about them quite a lot but for high street, so pharmacy drugstore, I will definitely say the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundations. Absolutely adored them. You will know that this is one that I've gone back to again and again. This is the original Healthy Mix. One of the nicest foundations you can get and then this is the newer um, Healthy Mix gel or serum that's out now. So this one I find is just a little bit um, lighter. I find it's a bit better for more normal to dry skin, whereas the other one is perfect for combination normal skin. But I can use this as well. It's just I personally prefer the other one, but I've used this on clients. And I used it um, at a recent wedding makeup as well, and it worked perfectly on all three clients. So I was really, really happy with that. It's a Vichy product. The Aeroton Pure, I've done a blog post on this before, I've done videos on it before. Amazing, just beautiful, light, gorgeous, skin-like makeup, but much better than your own skin, if you know what I mean. I just love this, love the packaging, um, price point, it's only around 19 or 20. Love, love, love it. I only have the teeniest bit left in this, so I really need to repurchase. And then the last kind of drugstore one, because it's one that I would normally go for, which is a compact, the Oon, um, what's it called, the BB Cream, the Intuitive Touch BB Cream Foundation. This got extremely high marks as far as I'm concerned, mainly because, not mainly, but a lot of it because of the packaging, because I found for what it was, which is this product in here, um, it was like 20 euros which is a lot for, you know, just that wee bit of compact, but you get this such handy mirror that I've been using just uh, on a daily regular basis in my makeup kit. I've used it when I need to make up on the go, when I need to touch up, so this has just come in really handy and there is space for storing stuff in here. Um, it did come up with a little synthetic brush that actually was handy for touch ups as well, but I tend to use my finger um, because I lost the brush, but you could still put something else in there if you need it. And then as far as high-end makeup go, I'm saying this mainly more because I use it just all the time in my kit. It just suits pretty much every skin type and I, it's one that I have to go back to again and again. And it's the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Um, most of you are familiar with it, I'm sure, but it's just one that I... Um, obsessed with for you know just it suits everyone really um, there's not too many people that I haven't been able to prep the skin in some way for this to sit really well on them and um, it's just very versatile so I really love it and it goes a long way you know I think you need to learn to use it right as well um, you don't need to pile it on and then also the face and body foundation by MAC is one that I rediscovered again through uh, during 2011. Absolutely love it. It's a misunderstood foundation. It, a lot of people might know how to use it. You know, it needs to be kind of emulsified a little bit. Um, like you kind of just need to rub it together in your hands to really thicken it up and get it working and then work it into the face and it's just a beautiful foundation. So this is one that I think is well worth getting if you can get your hands on it. So then as far as concealers go, I have two of my favourite um, ones that you have known again and again. This would be the Drugstore Pharmacy one, which is the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. And I always said that this was a very close runner to the MAC Select Cover Up. Um, both of these are amazing. This one's about 12, uh, 6 euro. This one is about 18 euro. So big, big jump for 17 euro but very, very similar. Of course, there's much better shade range with the MAC, so you'll be very hard pressed not to get yourself a perfect color um, because there are so many available. With this, there's only like minimal, like four or five, six shades maybe. Um, I was the number two in it. Uh, I also have number one and three in my kit, but those definitely for under eyes. If I'm working on a slightly older client, um, someone who needs a bit more moisture around, well, you know, something a bit richer around the eyes. I definitely love the Pro Palette Concealer. This is my screen face one. It comes with three different colours. Um, more of like an amber colour, um, which would be a bit more on the like orange side, slightly more pink one, and then a yellow one. So depending on the different discoloration that I have to deal with, I can just mix and match and 
come up with the perfect shade and I find that it just stays lovely and moisturised around the eye. It doesn't fall into the lines too much but I might need a tiny bit of a light, light translucent powder on top um, if someone is quite creepy and I find that there's a lot of movement but other than that it's a brilliant brilliant product. Then um, this is going to bring me into the face concealers because it's a duo. It's the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer, which is one that I went on about a lot um, throughout the year as well after finding it. It has two shades in the bottom, so this more salmon coloured one is for under the eyes, and then the more yellow shaded one would be for redness and stuff around the face. Absolutely adore that. And of course it also comes with a setting powder in the top layer. So this is one I highly recommend. It wasn't that expensive. Again, about 15 euro, maybe 14 euro. And this is new to Boots in Ireland, so um, if it's not where you are yet, it might just take a little bit longer to come out, but this is a fantastic product, constantly in my makeup bag, it hasn't left my makeup bag since I got it, so I absolutely love that. And then as far as camouflage concealers go, hands down, it would either be um, the Derma Colour Camouflage Palette, which I use in my kit constantly, and I use it on myself, or the Vichy Derma Blend. Both of these are amazing. The Vichy Durba Blend is a little bit um, more useful in that I can use it all over the face as a foundation as well as a really, really good camouflage concealer. So both of these I rate extremely high. Um, and then one more pharmacy one actually that I think needs a mention would be the Photo Ready. Uh, by Revlon, this is a stick concealer, but I was extremely impressed by it because I've used a lot of stick concealers from the pharmacy before and haven't been overly impressed, didn't feel that they covered very well or whatever, but for the price, this is extremely good quality and I would highly recommend it. Then as far as brightening um, like illuminators go for under the eye, I have two that I love, which would be in the same vein as the um, YSL Tushy Cla. So this would be, the first one would be this sleek makeup uh, Lumiere pen which is one of these ones where you click and then you have the illumination coming out through the brush. These brushes are grand as long as you keep them clean you can clean them like you would any other kind of brush. Another inexpensive one is the Lacour Beauty concealer pen um, again in the same vein another click one and this one is from Aldi and I find that they're so similar really really similar and then so similar to the Yves Saint Laurent one or even the MAC ones in the same vein so they're ones that I would highly recommend. Then as far as setting powders go this is going to be a no-brainer it's my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish um, Natural. And I, of course, use the light one, but I have every, pretty much, well, every second color, if not every color, in my kit. And I, I've i hit pan yet again. I've gone through about four, and um, I just love it. I can't say enough good things about this. It has totally changed how I feel about powders because I never used to like them before. Then, as far as um, loose powders go, it's a toss up between my Ben Nye Neutral Set, which is a colorless face powder, so light on the skin, it doesn't feel heavy like a lot of other um, face powders can, or the Vichy Derma Blend um, setting powder as well, which I use over that camouflage stick, and it just makes everything budge proof, and it's a really good, um, it makes the camouflage stuff waterproof as well. As, far as bronzers go, here I fell in love with this Bourjois product, so this is the Delice de Soleil, um, there and it comes in a really interesting case so the lid comes up like this and it can turn around so you can actually use it you know on a test desk, desktop or tabletop if you need to sit and do your makeup maybe on a train or whatever and it can, comes with a little brush that I haven't used but I'll leave it there for emergency it's just a really really lovely shade it's not too red based or too dirty looking or anything like that the only shade that i could come across was the number 14 olive tanned skin but it's perfect for light skin so i really love that and then as far as cream bronzers go it would be the chanel soleil de tan which has been going around youtube like a virus but it's for a reason it's a really lovely product as long as you know how to use it properly so you just have to be careful not to put on too much and um, so that it doesn't look too dirty and it's really is a lovely product. as far as contours go I was debating whether to put this in or not because it has been discontinued but it's just the best one that I've ever come across and I hope to find something similar to it again and it's the Illamasqua Powder Blush in Primal. It was just such a light colour, it, you know, it doesn't even look that dark there against my skin but it gives the most beautiful natural um, light shadow. Like it really looks like a shadow rather than there's actual makeup on my face. So I'm really sad that this has been discontinued and um, that you can't get it anymore but it's one that if you can get your hands on it by any means um, do. Or if anyone knows a duplicate to this actually I'd be really happy to find that out. So that's that guy. Then there was a cream one that I 
I'm, I'm killing myself looking for it. I don't know where it's gone. Um, it's the RCMA Contour Cream Number no. One. Um, it's just an amazing contour cream for light skin, and I, it's in a wee little pot there. I can find it, but I would definitely recommend that. And one that I started using re recently is this um, Screen Face Rose Nude Sheer Cream Eyeshadow. Again, it's a really lovely light colour and it doesn't look too dirty on the face as long as you don't put it on too much. It blends in really well and it just gives a nice natural um, contour to the face. So that's another one that I would highly recommend. Uh, getting on to the blushers, I would say it's pretty much all MAC. I'm a MAC fiend when it comes to blushers. I have started to um, branch out a little bit onto Inglot, but I haven't used them enough to say that I truly, truly love them. So my favourite blusher from this year was this gorgeous one here by MAC um, from the Quite Cute collection, or Too Cute, I can never remember what it is. It has a gorgeous little heart on it, and this one is Giggly, it's one of the mineralised blushes. Um, beautiful, beautiful pink. It's not miles away from, say, Dainty. Um, by Mac, but I much prefer this one. So if you can, if you want, if you can get your hands on dainty, dainty it's not going to be um, too different. And then I fell in love with Warm Soul, which is another mineralized. Um, and I actually tend to prefer matte, matte, um, not matte, yeah, matte blushes. I mean, I love like Blush Baby and Cubic and Tenderling, but I found just for these ones, I just fell in love with them. I absolutely love them. So Warm Soul is something I started using on myself. And then because I love to use it on myself, I started to use it on clients and I just found it give the most beautiful warm glow literally to the face. And then as far as cream blushers go, the Something Special by MAC, which is in the new Creme Blend blush, um, the new texture that they have out, uh, is a beautiful one. It's like a light corally pink and it's just really lovely on the skin without being too heavy because I was never a big fan of cream blushes um, when they had that more lipsticky, like, really sticky consistency. So cream highlighters and my favourite one would be the cream colour base by MAC in Pearl. So this is a really beautiful light, like I kind of like a moon colour but um, it's a really beautiful light golden shade and it's really pretty on most skin types. Even on light skin types it's lovely and then on dark skin types it's lovely because it has that um, golden base to it rather than a pink base which can look a bit more ashy and then for powder highlighters my prestige sunbaked um, mineral bronzing powder I don't know why it's called bronzing powder but um, this is in pure shimmer love this prestige has disappeared from boots and Galway for some reason which is a shame but um, then as far as MAC goes I have this Shea Shea La May which was from I think it was the Pret a Papier collection, and the only reason I'm saying that is because it looks like paper on the cover. But absolutely adore this. This is such a lovely highlighter, and I use it pretty much again on every um, wedding I've done this year. So I really, really recommend that. And then to finish off the face products. Um, my favorite face products from this year or last year would be the makeup setting sprays. So I have a dewy one, which is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. It doesn't make you look like greasy or whatever, but it has a slight sheen, sheen to the skin. But I really do find it gives that extra little longevity to your makeup and it gives a nice glow and a lift to your makeup, especially if you're maybe slightly on the drier or um, more mature side. I really love this. And then I was also recently sent this Model in a Bottle Makeup Setting Spray in the matte finish. And this one is lovely for anyone with maybe more normal combination oily skin who doesn't want to look too shiny um, after they've popped it on, but it still gives um, a really nice extra length to your makeup wear. But the trick with this is little goes a long way. I find if you put on too much, it's almost counterproductive. So I really like mist of this and it's really, really lovely. So I will be doing another video on that anyhow. And that's the end of the face products for.